My name is Valentino Fagan. Friends and family call me Val. I got the name Valentino because my ma loved the voice of Francesco Valentino, the opera singer. I run Dublin City. I decide what happens. Where the fuck are you going? Wait a minute, please. I haven't said anything. I promise I won't say anything. Please! Because this is my city. And no one is going to take it from me. shower at a bane of my life. The inevitable tone in my side. The guard. For years these scumbags have been chasing me and the boys trying to get us locked up. They harass us at every turn. Searching us. Searching our gaffs. Searching our cars. And especially dicks like this fella Hogan or his partner O'Neill. But the worst of them all. Detective Inspector Liz Delahunt. This operation has been set up to target this man, Val Fagan. He is the biggest importer and distributor of drugs in the country. Now, Fagan operates the Irish end of a drugs distribution network for these two, the Corrigan brothers, operating out of Amsterdam. Things have escalated with the murder of John Kilroy last night. Now, Kilroy was a money man in a money laundering racket through a dodgy casino. Unfortunately, Fagan got to him first. As for his gang, Fagan's right-hand man is Alan Reynolds, ex-army ranger. He's cautious, highly intelligent, and extremely loyal. Dennis Q, a.k.a. Carrot, loudmouth scrot. Craig Cushion, a.k.a. Cushty. And then we come to Mark Wells. He's Fagan's main trigger man. So we are going to start at the bottom of the pile with known street level dealers like this fella, Baza Hog, and we are going to work our way up. Because the goal here is to get a charge on Fagan for directing an organised crime group. Okay? This tramp force caught me in a stolen jammer when I was 15. Me and the boys have been trying to outrun horn our band of merry men ever since. They hate us, 
and we hate them. Can you invite there? Fold to the fucking roof with all these ultra smart HD TVs. Now, I'm being told these go for anywhere up to a grand each, and there's gonna be nearly 200 of them on the ruddy. It's last week's taste for Bazzi, eh? Right. Now, with these TVs, I make that up to 200 grand's worth. That's a nice earner for all of us. When you say it was heading down? Leaves Belfast in the morning. It's all there. It's a little bit light. I want to restock him for this week and he said he'll have to uh, make up the list next week. What's his excuse? Blame him Ringo for poachers, customers or whatever. Apparently he's a bit of grief train to I heard Ringo's sister gave Baz's board a few slaps. Women. Why am I not surprised? Right. There's that job he's in the morning. Get geared up. Cut you and Wells, you'll fill you in. When the job's done, I want you to sort out and start shifting the gear, yeah? Yeah. Right. The was on the blower to me this morning. He wants us 12 to Amsterdam tomorrow. About the shipping next week? I don't know. But I need you to book us flights. Yeah, no bother. Any word from your pal in the old bill? <laughs> yeah, the cops are up in the game on you. Liz Delahunt is leading the charge. Renault's ability to gain information is unbelievable. He has his ear to the ground for everything. Whether it be from a handle in the cops or listening to talkers on the street. It's a valuable asset to have that he can get a heads up and keep the wolves away from my door. And that for me is good for business. But some things aren't good for business. Like this scumbag. Deco Cunningham. Probably the most vile psychopath now. He got his fucked up head after a prisoner jumped him with a machete a week after Deco raped him. And although Deco lost a knee and was left with a face like a well chewed tough up, Deco left him in a coma with a fractured skull. I'm just sorry, Deco, pal. You alright? I'm sorry, Nils. I'm just new. You think I'd fucking let you down here? <laughs> Good stuff, that as well. What's the plan for later? <sighs> Round up the troops. Have a bit of work for us in a few of days. <laughs> He's out now after serving eight years for manslaughter. And little do I know the problems this man will cause me. Well, you go ahead with that thing in the morning, yeah? Oh, well, I've had. Myself and Renault have to go off to Amsterdam, so you, Carrot, and Kushi get yourself sorted. Don't stay at home tonight. No problem, yeah. Carrot and Carrot is starting to hear you. Yeah, he'll sort that. No problem, come out. I'll give you a shout when the job's done, yeah? Yeah, well, you listen, I'm just home and I'm dying for a piss. No problem, man. Come on. Yeah, I'll let you go. Where's Luca? He's in his room. Jesus Christ. Can you? The home in there. That's disgusting. It was that Indian I had last night. He didn't agree with me. He didn't even flush it. Oh, fucking right. I'll flush it now, so. Well, I tell you, the next time the pipes get blocked, I'll unclog with your fucking head. Yeah, yeah. Despite all I am and what I do. All right, champ. Hi, Dad. The one thing that tops everything in my life is my son, Luca. My greatest honour is being his dad. And for everything I've ever held in my arms, the best by far is him. Nothing or no one can ever change that. And the same goes for Renault. You might think me and him are the closest of mates, and I suppose we are. But there's one person in his life he puts ahead of everything else. His wife, Esther. Hey. Cuba. Mm. Jeez, do you remember the last time we were there? Put some greasy fucker in his hole. <laughs> Dislocated his shoulder and broke his teeth. Yeah. 
he was trying to steal me handbag, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah, but he was a big fucker, though. You know, I don't think you're afraid of anything, eh? Where do I have to go to Amsterdam tomorrow? Will you be gone long? Depends on Val. Me bollocks there, not yours. Swear to God. Ah! The toy, oh, you know. Faza, you're under arrest for an offence under Section 15 of the Misuse of Drugs Act. You're not obliged to say it unless you wish to do so. But then you do say it, we'll take it in writing and maybe use it as evidence. Ah. <sighs> well, we already have a suspended sentence. We can't get locked up for this, man. Well, that's your problem. Oh, for fuck's sake. Unless you want to come clean with where you got it. You're going to be charged for this. And we'll be looking to keep you in custody. But if you want to get something off your chest, we might be able to sort station bail for you. Fucking TV is, yeah? What? Carrot. Suppose we get his hands on a lot of these high-end smart TVs. I don't know what the story is in them, but... You asked me to shift a load for him. That's all I know, yeah? Come on, hands out. Come on, come on, come on, hands out. There we go. Now, we'll keep your mouth shut, alright? I'll have to fucking take that off the ground, yeah? Good man, you're doing great, buddy. Where's your fucking license? Open the windscreen, boys. <sighs> we know who you fucking are, yeah? Then we know where you fucking live to. If you go to the fucking guards, we're gonna come to your house and ride our wife, alright? <laughs> My wife passed away about a year ago. Oh, Bill, fucking hell. Then we'll dig her up, so. And then we'll fucking ride her. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this fucking car on the road, huh? <laughs> Jesus! Fuck away the fucking gear, There's man. There's nothing wrong with it. It's your fucking head won't go into gear. You're fucking real. If you want to drive, then fucking drive! Just yeah? shut up and fucking drive the thing, will you? Yeah, what's the story? All good, yeah? All good, yeah. Yeah, yeah just bring them down the back roads and dump them out somewhere, yeah? All right, good man. See you up there. Gitter, yeah? No worries. Gitter? Good to see you again. I haven't seen you holding up in your room. Up and down right now. Yeah? Fucking Moroccan cunts were giving grief. 
Desi and Noel were up the walls about it because they're in bed with the Russians. Oh, yeah, what's the story there? The story is the Russians are shipping Moroccan product onto the continent through Eastern Europe. And Desi and Noel are not one bit happy about it. Mm. Yeah, I can only imagine. It was seized. Yep. The DEA in the States were keeping tabs on it when it left Bolivia. They hid it as soon as it was in international waters. How much? 20 tons of it. Jesus Christ, 20 tons of coke? Yep. So where does that leave us? Not good. That consignment was meant to supply most of Europe. You were meant to be getting some of it this way. Yeah, that's right. The thing is, Val, we need everyone to pull together on this. We need to get back onto the South Americans to get a new and bigger consignment. To make up for the shortfall. But we need to get the funds together. How much is talking? Look, everyone has to chip in. You now, I know this is asking a lot, but we need you to come up with a seven figures. A million quid? Val, I know it's a lot of money, but do whatever you can to get it. Look at it this way, Val. Like, we know you're doing a good job back home and you're running a tight ship and everything is in order. And we admire that. But you pull through on this with us and it won't be forgotten. However, Val, and you can take this whatever way you want. You don't do this for us. Then we find someone else that will. You get what we're saying here? When do you need this money, boy? Within the next month. Fuck it, yeah. I'll see what I can do. Fair play to you, Val. I know you won't let us down. You're a good team player, Val. We appreciate this. Liz, I was just talking to Kevin Hogan. He told me he gave Baza Hog station bail on that drug capture. Yes, that's right. But why? He's known for sale and supply. Because I advised him to. We're tasked with getting people like Hogg off the streets, and I think Kevin Hogan should Whatever Kevin Hogan does or doesn't do is none of your concern, Seamus. Is there something else? Yeah, the super dropped this into me when you were out earlier. For sake! No! You're no, cutting our no. budget! My hands are tied. Well, unfucking tied. I have the chief breathing down my neck in this. There's nothing I can do. The chief is lining up his own promotion. And meanwhile, Val Fagan is allowed to wander around doing whatever he bloody well likes. I don't know what to tell you, Liz. And now, like myself, the cops are hit with their own financial burdens. And by the time Reno and me land back into Dublin, I'm feeling the pressure of the Cardigan's task. But Renault gives me a glimmer of hope. So the place is like fucking Fort Knox. Every stronghold has its weak points, Val. And you think this can be done? I wouldn't have mentioned it if we didn't think we could pull it off. Tell me what you're thinking. Right, at least seven men. It means you'll have to roll your sleeves up and get your hands dirty in this one, yeah? Right. We need a mix of tools and at least two automatic yokes. There'll be some job to source that kind of firepower without the old bill getting a sniff of it. Yeah, I was thinking that. I still have a couple of contacts in the rack. They'll probably look for a small cut after the job is done. Yeah. Yeah? Set up a meeting and see what you have to say about it. Oh, what? Right, quick pace and a couple of points, yeah? Reno. Yeah? Thanks. You're a good mate. Everything you do with me, I appreciate it. Don't mention it, Pat. As for Deco Cunningham, you might recall a bit of work he had lined up for him and his goons. A tiger kidnapping. While he was locked up, Deco got a whisper of a soft touch for a stroke. Northern Cross dog track. 
And the only way to the dog track safe is through the manger. And this is your wife, Marie. We've been watching you for quite a while now. That's what I'm gonna do with your bitch wife. I'm gonna take her head off. And just to show you, we may in business. <laughs> <laughs> Deco knows the safe is on a time lock, so he separates and holds until the next morning. We're gonna take call with us now, yeah? He then gives the manager instructions. Tells him if he wants to see his wife again, he'll do exactly as he says. Say goodbye to your wife the last time. As for the box, so the neighbours don't see the wife being taken away. Have you seen a bit of that money in that safe? I am. I'm getting along now. Shut the fuck up. And this fella is shitting himself and just wants to see his wife again, so he does exactly as he's told. I have it all. Well, the side door to the car park, you'll put the bag in the boot, close the boot, and walk away. Yeah. Yeah. Don't look at the driver, or he'll be sent easy away from the post. Now, fuck off. Hey, hey, my wife, hooray! Once Deco has the money, they dump the wife out in the middle of nowhere. Deco put the fear of God into that couple. And he and his crew just made over 100k for a night's walk. How are things with you? Well, it's like this, Dennis. You have just been caught in possession of over €100,000 worth of stolen televisions. We also know that you have been skimming off the top of Val's drug payments and then blaming the street dealers for coming up short. Okay, a good call just came through. A tiger kidnapping. The manager of the Northern Cross Greyhound Stadium. Well, it couldn't have been Fagan. He's only back from Amsterdam and we've carried here. Well, but who's out there dealing with it now? Local DDU and scenes of crime. OK, well, keep me posted on any further updates, please, Ashton. Kevin, go Lord. If we get Carol talking, he is to deal with you personally and no one else, OK? Let's keep our cards close to our chests on this one. Strictly on a need to know basis, and right now, only you and I need to know. Yeah, of course, Kick. Okay, good man. Despite me not knowing about Carrot's fuck up with the TVs, I'm more concerned about how Renault got on his meeting with his IRA contacts. How does it go? Yeah, it's looking good. I had to run a buddy army council, but shouldn't be a problem. Good stuff. Put the wheels in motion for her now, yeah? The best thing you can do, Randall, is go to the ground. Go off radar altogether until you think it's time to move on this. And the less people that know about it, the better as well. No problem. Very bit of planning involved, but I'll let you know when it's ready, yeah? All right. Do what you have to do. Things seem to be back on track. Then Carter hits me with a story about the TVs. What are you going to panic for? It's a lock-up, man. It's not to get raided. The TVs are gone. You better be fucking joking me, Cara. I swear to God, Val. If I hadn't done a bleeding walk about myself, I would have been banged to roots. Tell me exactly what happened. I was too much ass. I was going to get rid of him. 
But then I fucking take the cops, scouting the place out in one of them unmarked Mariah vans. How did you know they were the cops? Because I fucking spotted Hogan. He was fucking red hot, he was. Did they see you? No. Are you sure? 100% man. Who else knew about the lockup? Nobody. Who knew about the TVs? I organised Baza Hog to shift a few of them for us. Baza Hog? Yeah, who else, man? I think it's time for me to do my own bit of investigating. Enter Violet Coughlin. My brief and barrister extraordinaire with legs to die for. Valentino Fagan, my favourite client. How are you this fine morning? Hey, you know me, Viola. All the better for seeing you. <laughs> you look great. Thank you. You smell even better. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a charmer. So what can I help you with? You fancy going for a spin? I'm meant to meet some colleagues in the law library for lunch. But I'd be more than happy to make an exception for you. Nice one. like this with you more often. Mm, it'd be my pleasure. <sighs> Fucking sure. <laughs> so, um, what was it you were asking me about again before we got carried away? About Baz a hug. Oh yeah? He got caught with girl last week. Did he get bail on it? Prosecution never objected to bail. And you assumed the guards would look for custody with a suspended sentence, but they just looked for him to sign on twice daily, surrender his passport and a few other conditions. They'll probably go to trial, but it'll be another year before that happens. So we've met a suspended sentence and caught with gear, he's still got bail? Yeah. I don't need any more convincing. This is a right mess. You think it could be over what he gave us on the TVs? <laughs> it's a strong possibility. So what do we do from here? We just have to wait and see what comes in. I mean, without the proper budget, this operation is moving at a snail's pace. All we have is Carrot, and I don't know if he can be trusted. Shut the fuck up! Is that it? What do you mean, is that it? Uh, well, you are very quick. What about me? What about you? What always about you? You're a selfish fucking prick, Val. That's me, bollocks. Who's that ringing you? Is that one of your dirty little tramps? Never shut the fuck up. I know you, Val Fagan. And I'm telling you now, if you arrive home here with something like fucking spotty dick, I won't be going anywhere fucking near you. I hope it fucking falls off you so I do. Will you ever give her a rest? How are you, Val? All right, Wilsey. Yeah, I have a proposal for you, yeah? Ever heard of a bloke called Dago Cunningham? Wellsy tells me he got word that Deco Cunningham wants to meet me to buy in some of our next drug shipment from the proceeds of his tiger job. With the cops after seizing the TVs and the drought and shipments, I'm thinking a few quid from Deco wouldn't harm in helping towards the Corrigan's payment for the next shipment. I'm happy to see what Deco has to offer. But the old bill come for Deco first. What the fuck is this? The story is that the cops have got DNA for Keza, one of Deco's crew, from the car bar box used to keep the weave in. They have fuck all on Deco, but he gets into his fucked up head, though he stitched him up with the cops somehow. 
the fuck are we here? Stay down. Deco's time in the old belt course that he is in quiet in any way. He's like a caged animal. didn't have enough to charge Decker with the Tiger job, so all he gets is a few Mickey Mouse charges like breach of the peace and public order. But I know it's only a matter of time before I cross paths with Decker again. Two secure holding areas. The first one is along here, where you can get you out of there from the main... Eventually the time comes and Renault makes contact to annoy me with his master plan. And it's beautiful. But it can only get access from that from the main floor inside. It's a big job, so we need extra pairs of hands to help us out. Make sure he's well followed. Yeah, they're good. We took the back roads and all that, eh? Left the cars out on the main road. These are the lads you were telling me about. It's Ross and Eric. They're from the flats. Straight up, yeah. I mean, nanny's block. Know who I am? Yeah. Yeah. Tell anyone you were coming here to me? No. No. Stay with your towel and keep your mouth shut. There's a nice few quid in this face. Make sure Wells gives you plenty more work. But if you open your fucking mouth about what's happening here tonight, I'll fucking kill you. All right? Right, lads. Phones out, turned off. Put them in the box there beside the table, yeah? Get them back out with the job is done. Myself and Renault then give the rest of the crew the rundown on the job. He's going to be distributing cash all over the city to ATMs for the bank holiday weekend. Yeah, that's all well and good, but how the fuck are we supposed to get into the place? <laughs> Jesus, lads. Where the fuck did you strap this from? It's not stolen. Renault built it. Fuck. Fair play, Renault. Hope you all haven't made any plans for the next day or so. Oi. We hit it in the morning. Your kids now. If you don't open this door, if you hit the panic or the stress alarms, it will throw acid in your kids' faces. Now open the fucking door! Who oh, goes in? You, hey! Stay! Going face down with the deck now. I'll tell you. Why 
way we're in. Delay with that consignment date, so I wouldn't worry about it until later on anyway. Have we got one back already, David? Not sure. We double check the control if you want. Yeah, have a look and see what the crack is. Yeah. Uh, Hubboard control. Is van 3168 back for its next pickup? Right. You. Oh, now. Hold on, quickly. Want to see these two again? Yeah? I remember that. Give the command to let the van in the gates. Understand? Roger, hook four. You can let him in. I said, which one of you is the fucking man? <laughs> Up. Look at me. You have the keys and the code to the cash office, yes? We're gonna go down and you're gonna open that one wrong move and I will put a bullet in your fucking head. <laughs> Get that out of the van. It seems like one of your staff fancy themselves as a bit of a hero. So just to prove my point that we don't fuck around with. Please, please. Don't fucking run! Don't fucking run! Now unless you want this board remains on your conscience, you'll do exactly as I say! Now move! You with me. Where are you at in 100 euro notes? The banks want them in large denominations for the ATM so the customers will spend more. Robin bastards. All those bankers should be fucking locked up, so they should. Open it. Get to walk. I saw all of it. Let's go. baby. Oh, 
yeah. That was fucking great. Oh, I'm fucking pumped here I am. Harry. Oh. I've been thinking about something, right? It's about those TVs. Hmm? As a hog knew about the TVs, he didn't know about the lockup. How did the cops find out about the lockup? Did he see you hanging around it? No chance, man. They'd say you took those TVs for yourself, Carla, what? Nah, Carla wouldn't do anything like that, sure you wouldn't. <laughs> We'll have a proper chat about it later, yeah? Sure thing, but... This will do us here. Ross, yeah. jump out and get well, do you hang them tools? Sorry, young I just don't trust this. The raid was carried out with military precision, and the haul taken during the raid is believed to be in the region of 5.5 million euro. Hello? We need fucking witness protection, do you hear me? Carrot, where are you? You were supposed to meet me an hour ago. He's fucking on to me. He knows about the fucking televisions, and he's gonna have me fucking clipped. Do you hear me? Listen, calm down, all right? What's going on? Are you listening to me? He's fucking on to me. That's what's fucking up. Where are you now? Just around the corner of me fucking gaff. Kig, it's Carrot. He's rattled. He wants to come in. Dennis, it's Liz Delahunt. What's the story? He's fucking on to me, yeah? I know he is. Whatever he is wants, statements, the money from today's strokes, I can get it by his, yeah? The money from today's cash depot robbery. Fucking Renault planned it all. Fucking us and Val pulled her off. I just seen him blow the fucking head off some young blonde on the job because he didn't fucking trust him. Do you hear me? Look, I need you to help here, yeah? Just fucking bring me in, right? Get me off so you're witness fucking protection. Okay, Dennis, you just go in home. Right now, and we will be there as soon as we can, okay? Yeah. Okay, take Ashling and get him on that right now. Yeah. Go. It's hard to believe that Della Hunt has us all. With Carrot's evidence, I'm looking at the rest of me life locked up. But sometimes divine intervention comes in the strangest of ways. Deco Cunningham. And he definitely said he'd meet us here. And his phone is off. Yeah, I'm just getting voicemail. I have a feeling something bad's have to happen. After being lifted for the toy guy job, Deco has the daggers out for us all. He starts with Kara and his plan is to walk his way up to me. I don't even want to begin to describe what Carter is going through. Forcedly to be beaten to a pulp. And then. Look over there and get his cacks down. Bad veins, little bitches, all you were. Yeah? Yeah, my bitch. Let's just say that Deco wants to have his enjoyment on his way with Carrot. How someone can inflict such sadistic brutality on another is beyond me. And you might think that Deco just spared me a long stretch inside. But all I know is that he just declared war. As for the robbery, the cops have to look like they're doing something about it. So the knock on the door is inevitable. I'm down in! They come into our gaffs. I'm back in! I'm back in! Keep your hands up! Keep your hands up! Turn them upside down. Get your 
fucking hands off, woman. Don't touch me. I'm telling you, don't fucking. Then Hannah's off for questioning. This section is for the usual 24 hours of bullshit. And we sit in silence. We know the guard don't have a scratch of evidence on us. They're just going through the motions. And so are we. Once the dust settles on my cloud and I am. 5.5 million richer and I'm very happy, untouchable, and it feels fucking great. Hey, what do you want? Mind if I sit down? Have you not got nothing better to be doing? You search me, Gaff, and you question me. Fuck off if you think I'm buying you a coffee. I have no cash on me. Let me introduce Detective Goff from the Criminal Assets Bureau. Valentino Fagan, it's said yourself served. With tax block for 1.2 million euros in unpaid revenue to the state for the past six years, I suggest you have your solicitors contact us. Unpaid tax? Mm. You know what I think of that, don't you? Bullshit. But you know what I'll do to keep you all happy? I mean, the upstanding citizen that I am. We'll pay the tax man back a few quid. 1.2 million. You can fuck off. Hmm. That is very gracious. But then again, I don't suppose it puts much of a dent in five and a half million. As I told you yesterday, I wouldn't know anything about that. It was some stroke though, wasn't it? I mean, if the man who pulled off that job walked in here now, I'd have to congratulate him and buy him a point. You think you're a really big man, don't you? You don't give a fuck. the reign of the great Val Fagan is going to last forever. Because let me tell you something. It's only a matter of time before someone smarter and more dangerous comes and takes you out. Cheerio now, Elizabeth. You have a lovely day. Poor Liz. I often wonder what kind of life she has away from her work. But being so driven and committed to catching me, how could she? And what's eating her now is she was a split hair away from taking me down. Carrot was our trump card. And I didn't play thanks to Deco. And when I'm told about carrots sickening the mice, well, let's just say the gloves are off. A foreskin face prick. What is Echo thinks you set him up with the old bill? I happily pulled the tiger job. I don't give a fuck what he thinks. That stupid cunt has a pop at us and he thinks we're gonna take a lion down. Tool up and do what needs to be done. If he wants a war, we'll fucking bring it to him.
Deckhouse crew, we've two of them taken care of in a matter of days. With one of them locked up on remand over the tiger job. All that leaves is Deco. I know, Ma. No, he didn't mean to slap me. Shall I look at talk to him all tomorrow, will we? Deco, Cunningham, where is he? What? Where are you? Tell me where he is or I put a fucking bullet in your head! Which flat is Cunningham's? Uh, number 23, first floor. It's his girlfriend's house. I fucking hate serving these gym forms on gougers. We're doing our thing by informing them of a threat on their lives, and they normally slam the door in our face. You coming? I'll follow you up. I'm gonna run a check in that car there. Fair enough. Fuck. You haven't seen him. Don't worry to me. I know, I swear. Last time he was here was two days ago. He's not fucking here. You tell that prick he's a fucking dead man. The old bill on high alert after we clipped the other two at Deco's crew. I'm not surprised about the close call. But it's too close for Wilsey. Although he's smart enough to dump anything that can link him to what just happened. Stop the car. It's Mark Will. So the cops grab Weldy and pull him in for questioning. They give him a proper going over. Taking photographs, fingerprints, DNA, and they seize his clubber. Between the movers and the shakers, we're able to get rid of the gun and the belly that Weldy dumped before the cops could find him. But with the gun residue on him, the cops have enough to charge him. And with a firearms charge, Weldy knows that he's looking at a stint in custody. Amazing work on getting Mark Wells, Liz. But this doesn't read well. As of now, you've got unlimited budget to go after Fagan himself. Do whatever it takes. I have a few things to do today, so I'm just going to drop you to your nanny's first, all right? Okay. Make sure you put your seatbelt on. Good afternoon, Mr. Fagan. We just want to see how you are today. What? We just want to be sure that you're okay and that no harm comes to you. Well, that'd be a bleeding dope, you. So you want to get a tattoo? Yeah, like the one on your neck. You want to get a tattoo of the Grim Reaper? What's the Grim Reaper? The Grim Reaper is a ghost that appears to you just before you're about to die. Well, do you want to know what I want to be when I'm older? A detective. A fucking guard it. <laughs> Go away out of that. You're just winding your old man up. What the fuck is that? This is fucking harassment, this is. No need to be alarmed, sir. We're just concerned for your safety. With you being such an upstanding citizen, we're obliged to provide you with all the protection and safety within our power, 24-7. So this is what Delahunt is at now, is it? I tell you, these are some shower of fucking cunts. 
Please watch your language, sir. It's an offence to you threatening abuse or insulting language in a public place. Fuck off. They follow me everywhere I go. They're behind me everywhere I go. It's harassment. It's nothing short of harassment. Look, Val, we'll lodge a complaint with Chief Sock and I'll write to the Chief Superintendent about this. We'll go through the necessary channels. Then it, fuck the necessary channels, Violet. Just get us sorted. Cop car sitting out there. Of course I know you're bleeding bullet head. Fucking pricks have been following me around all day. What's the story with that? Oh, it's gonna be in a cast for eight weeks, they're saying. Ah, had to put a fucking pin in it, man. Could be worse, couldn't it? I might be laid up for a little bit, at least I'm not banged up like Wellesy, what? Just the fuck up. Cops get out of this place, booked or something. Jesus, you're hitting a sniff pretty hard there, Val. Well. Give a fucking rest, Christy, will you? Sound like me poxy wife. And you needn't think I'm paying your medical bills for that either. Are they still hanging around outside? You're not in court today for that Mickey Mouse road traffic thing. At least you'll have your own personal guard at escort to take you to the court. Are you trying to be fucking funny? Because instead of trying to be funny, why don't you clean the gap? It's like a fucking kid. Fine. You should have been fucking dismissed. Useless you are. What the fuck do I even pay you for? You don't pay me, Val. You're on free legal aid. Good. How are they in court today, Val? I'm fucking tell you how. Get out of my face. I'm not in the mood. This shite the cops are at really has me on the edge and I need to do something about it. There we go. Is he here? What's the story? The story is I can't take that bullshit off these pricks anymore. Who? Delahunt and them fucking dope boards down there. Follow me fucking everywhere I go 24-7. I can't even take a fucking shit with that prick Hogan waving at me through the window. So this will all do it down in a week or so, pal. Don't fucking play this down, Renov. There's work to be done. Corrigans are coming in, in a day or two to get that money and I can't be seen going around with them. With them fucking pricks up me hole every five minutes. I want to sort it and I want to sort it now. What do you want done? A car bomb. For that bitch Delahunt. You build it. Or your mates from the bar build it. I don't really give a fuck, but I want to all blow the fuck by the middle of next week. And I'll send a message out to the rest of the guards to like the fuck off. Are you out of your fucking mind? You're talking about intentionally taking out a cop. I don't give a fuck, Renner. Blame it on the RAR, son. Look, man, I can see you're wound up about this whole situation, but if we kill a cop, we cause a serious shitstorm that will last for years. They'll be putting our doors in every morning, turning our lives upside down till they eventually get us. And they will get us. Val, look at Reno, this isn't a fucking request. I want it done. Look, pal, 
You need to think straight here. You need to... No, Leno. You need to think straight here. You need to think about what I'm fucking telling you to do. And if you don't do what I'm telling you to do, well, then you start thinking about your own safety. And the safety of your fucking little pretty wife in there. So that's what this has come down to now, is it about fucking threats? Take it, whatever the fuck way you want it. All I can tell you is, get it fucking done. So you still have that poxy look on your face from this morning, so I presume you got the penalty points. What you say to me, you fucking tramp! You dirty <laughs> snuff! <laughs> I'm out there breaking me bollocks every day! I put a roof over your head and clothes on your back! I have to come in and listen to this shit from you! If it wasn't for me, you'd be out sucking cops! Down the canal! Everything okay? We heard screaming and shit. Everything is fine. Now fuck off. Are you okay? Who the fuck do you think you are? Get out of my property. Do you want to come with us? We can get you a safe place to stay. She's gone fucking nowhere. She's staying here. Fuck off and mind your own business. It's used to have them up the fucking walls like this. You're a real brave man, aren't you? I bet you feel like a real hero slapping up women. I will fucking slap you up and down that road out there, you prick. Oh yeah, give it your best shot then. <laughs> Come on, take off your badge and go on there. No problem, let's go right now. Come on. He's not right. Come on, fuck off, you prick. You know, I'm starting to think that for every bad decision someone makes, it will eventually come back to haunt them. Esther, if we don't get out now, we're going to be... What do you mean, get out? I mean, cut loose, get away from all of this. Like emigrate? We have plenty of cash. We can move abroad anywhere. Are you sure that's what you really want to do? Just hit me today. Seeing my vows become. Especially when you try dragging you into this mess. And what, what? What do you think Val is going to say about all this? Like about us going? I'm going to have a war with him tomorrow. Everything we've been through, I think he owes me this much. And what if he says no? You know what I would do anything for you. Absolutely anything. We sound something now. Yeah? We always do. You wanted to see me, Tom? Ah, uh, Liz, come in. Take a seat. What's the problem? This latest overt surveillance on Fagan. I need you to back off. What? 
Fagan is threatening to sue for breach of civil liberties and harassment. Tom, Fagan is on the verge of cracking. I'm sorry, Liz. It's not up for negotiation. Look, maybe there are other ways to get at Fagan. Have a look at the international aspect of his operation, right? With the cardigans coming over today, I'm buzzing because everything is going to come good finally. Decker was gone to ground and probably left the country. And the cops have eased off. Once Della Hunt is out of the way, it'll be plain sailing. Everything has fallen into place nicely. All right. What's the story? Did you get that done? Sorted. Fitted with a mercury tail trigger switch mounted underneath the driver's seat. Go up as soon as she sits in it. Nice one. Esther and me are going away, Val. Going away, but good. Oh, what do you mean? This cop here. It's my last job. I'm done. Brandon, what the fuck are you talking about? It means I'm done, Val. Finished with all of this. It's like that cop Della Hunt said to you before. It's only a matter of time before someone smarter and bolder comes along. Takes us all out. I'm sick of looking over my shoulder the whole time, Val. I don't want to go out like that. Quit with your head. Do you know what I mean? So you're gonna run away? Like little chicken shit. For fuck's sake, Val. I don't want to fall out with you over this. Been through enough together, Val. You and me. Fuck her, Renault. You deserve a break. You want to head off and have a good think about it and then go back to me. Sorry, Val. I've already thought about it. I'm done. Finished. For good. Okay, so... So be it. Best of luck, pal. Thanks, Val. For everything. What you're doing for me. I appreciate it. I'm grateful. Oh, how are you, Renna? Hey. Are you last day? Nah, I just popped in with a quick chat with myself. All right. I'll see you later, yeah? Fuck you, Reno. And your wife. Worried that someone smarter and bolder is going to take us out? Not in my city. And you think you and your wife can just up and leave? There's only one place you're going. Hang on, they're just coming through now. Okay. The intel report from Interpol arrived. Oh, thanks, Ashley.
What is it? Come here. Executive class. Very fancy. Oh, yeah. Tell you, as soon as this meeting is over, I'm going to get myself one of them Latvian ladies. What? Them escorts? Yeah. I'm doing for me, hole. Uh, you, that's all you ever fucking think of you and your howl. of everyday life is a real and dark place where even the innocent suffer. And being the boss of this place isn't about how much money you have or how much power you have. But it's about how long you can stay alive when you're at the top. This is how long I last.
all yours now. <laughs> 